What's going on everybody? This is Tony 2.0 and I'm here today to give you guys my full review of Insurgency. After the first weekend and the first round of patches and bug fixes, I feel comfortable enough to give you guys a solid review of, of how this game is currently and what I think it could use as well as where it will be in the future. When you first take a look at Insurgency, it's apparent the similarities between other source games in its genre and out of its genre. And this can be distracting from the pure beauty that the developers were trying to accomplish with this tactical FPS. For longtime fans of things like Counter-Strike, seeing the maps and overall function of the game may be a turnoff at first, but let me assure you that although visual similarities do exist, that's where the comparisons will stop. Insurgency is a tactical FPS created by New World Entertainment and was developed originally from a Half-Life 2 mod. This game falls somewhere on the FPS radar between Red Orchestra, Counter-Strike, and BF4, and flavors of all of those games are shown within it. These all comparisons come together with a more realistic combat structure mixed with a wonderfully responsive and accurate player control system. The small development house succeeded where many AAA producers fall short, especially for fans of the SPF FPS genre. The sound in Insurgency is flat out incredible. The fidelity of the bullets whizzing by your head, the distant chatter of your teammates uh, surrounding you, the creaks and the groans of the buildings that you're sneaking through, down to the score itself, is more polished than any title in my recent memory. The sound design adds to the level of immersion you feel while playing the game, and that makes those intense clutch moments that happen nearly every match feel all the more real. At first glance, the heads up display seems to be lacking something. Gone are all those usual suspects, the mini-map, the health bars, the bullet counters. Replaced with only a center-mounted objective notification UI and a floating ID system that helps you find your teammates and identify the direction of nearby targets and objectives. 10 minutes into this game, you forget about what you know about current generation FPS games and your connection with the point of the game begins. The lack of clutter on the screen, again, adds to the realism that the developers were shooting for. This game's high skill cap, quick time to kill, and learning curve may deter some of the novice or casual gamers, as well as apparently the reviewers from IGN and PC Gamer. This game is simply unforgiving, and it puts a premium on your gun skill as well as objective play versus how quick can I get to my next kill streak or into the next vehicle. Slow, methodical movements and teamwork is a necessity, and the lone gunman mentality is usually punished accordingly. This style of play, however, does not take away from those exciting feelings you get while playing an FBS. It only amplifies itself while you're being suppressed by enemies' constant gunfire near one of your objectives. The hyper-reality is invigorating and at times extremely intense, lending to the realism of this title. The map designs play very well on all 12 of the current maps and it works for their aim, the, the objective play. With complete map tools provided with the purchase, the community is going to undoubtedly make this part of Insurgency one of its stronger points in its due time. The unique and comprehensive loadout of the system is sure to meet the expectations of anyone who picks up this game. All the usual suspects uh, kind of appear in some fashion or another, uh, from the red dot scopes to the ACOGs, basic iron sights, and they have a great balance of guns for you to choose from. Anything from your ARs to your submachine guns, even into your, <laughs> your sniper rifles. The lack of frustrating deaths you encounter in other games is readily noticeable from the moment you hit the ground. However, one of the large drawbacks in Insurgency is the team killing aspect. They were shooting for a realistic feel. In real life, you can shoot your own teammate if he walks in front of you. And in this game, you can hurt and even kill your own teammates. 
This can lead to some really uncomfortable situations, as well as some frustration. But with that being said, in my time playing the game, the community and the teams you're on are policing this issue very well, and those guys that are trying to troll, they're just not allowed to continue that, that garbage for very long. The game modes, they kind of hit everyone's sweet spots. Domination style play, search and destroy, and even variations of faster pace modes and slayer modes. There's no team deathmatch. And so those ADD generations, the ones that need that constant death and respawn, you may want to steer clear. Matches can range from anywhere from 10 to 25 minutes, depending on which playlist you choose, and at the capacity which your team can complete the objectives. For me, general playtime is between 15 and 25 minutes to either win or lose the match. It really kind of works out nicely. Insurgency is about one thing. Realistic, objective, tactical gameplay. Through this singular idea, a harmonious balance of pulse-pounding, high-intensity situations, overall joy and fun is achieved. The moments of sheer terror when you are the last man standing, to the excitement you feel while capping a firefight point under heavy enemy fire, your whole screen shaking and, and vibrating and, and everything that you want to feel is there. It's welcome in my gaming rotation any day. Without fail, this game will keep you guys yearning to go get that next objective, smoke out the insurgents, destroy the enemy caches for, for hours and hours. Let's break it down and let's get into the good parts about this. They have a very caring and attention to detailed group of developers. They're very vocal on Twitter with their community. They listen to all of the things that we're saying and they're trying to get them fixed. A patch within the first 48 hours is a fantastic sign that they are in this for more than just the quick 100 or 200 grand they're probably gonna make off this game. This game has a beautiful sound design, fantastic player control, a sound map design, the overall game structure is, is amazing, and the lack of BS moments, those lacks of the rage-inducing deaths, is fantastic. Comprehensive game modes to fit all objective players' needs. This is just a well-polished FPS game with tons of potential, and possibly a future in the competitive scene. Let's get into the bad. There are some minor, minor visual acuity bugs. Uh, there's this purple haze that can pop up here and there, and they've been told and they're trying to fix it. There's a crashing, a crashing issue, uh, especially when you are running antivirus software. Lack of controller support, lack of multi-monitor support. The multi-monitor issue, uh, one of my buddies who runs three monitors wanted to spread it all out and he was having a lot of issues with crashing. There is a small issue still with the balance of explosives uh, as well as the shotguns. Part of this is due to how they have structured their kill, their, their kill structure, the way that damage is distributed. Mainly the big annoying thing about it is somebody can throw a C4 into a room and literally kill everybody on other side of walls and it, it can be annoying, it really hasn't been too big of a problem yet. As well as the feet kills, getting shot in the foot to, to, to damage or kill you. Uh, you know, I don't think that should be a two shot kill in my foot to kill me. There's also a very small map sample right now only 12 maps uh, and not all of them are in each playlist i don't believe again that's one of those things that will be corrected in the near future i'm sure and as soon as those mod tools are put out for the community one of the only other major things that i can uh, nitpick on is sometimes there's trouble determining if you've killed somebody there's no death log there's no scrolling this guy killed you you killed this guy and for some people that could be a deterrent for me it's pretty real to life. If you shoot somebody and you're in combat, who knows if you got him, who knows if you didn't. Maybe some kind of marking system would be fantastic or confirming if you can go pick up that guy's tags and take him out. The verdict. Even if you have to pay full price for this game, which is $15, it's money well spent. This is, a, this is an amazing FPS experience for people who really care about 
gun skill and objective gameplay. And who won't miss the AC-130s and the attack dogs of the arcade shooters. This is a well-balanced gaming experience with a good community and developers who are open to improvement. The high skill cap adds to the mystique and flavor of this game and will bring true gamers back for more. The guys that are dedicated to the FPS genre. Quickly, a couple of needs. One of the major flaws or complaints that I have in games, especially on PC for whatever reason is, there's no party or group function. What I really truly feel is missing from Insurgency is the ability to jump on, create my squad with my friends, get them all into a starting lobby and queue up together to get in and then be able to retain that group on the same team throughout our playing session. This is huge for me and I think it's something they are working on, but just in case any of these developers ever watch this, I want them to know that that's something that is holding their game back currently. Other than that, I think a small percentage of the player base would really appreciate full controller support. Everybody's going to continue to benefit from the support of this fantastic dev team. You know, additional additional maps and maybe, maybe even doing like a community playlist, uh, something to consider in the future. Insurgency has done so many things right that even the small holes in this game are easily overlooked. And with a bit more elbow grease, this game could do great things. And I hope for the developer's sake that it catches on like wildfire, because they did a fantastic job. Although this is not your typical arcade FPS, which has been the fad of normal, it's exactly what makes Insurgency so special. Guys, this is a must buy. Make sure you go check it out. Go follow them. I'll put a link down to the game, their Twitter, as well as all my stuff's always down there. So go ahead. I hope you find this useful. Go check it out. Thanks.